So this hospital is a referral and emergency hospital. So that means that patients who see their regular veterinarians, so the same as you'd go to your family doctor, they'll go to them for routine things, vaccines, and routine everyday health care. But when something comes up that needs advanced care, now they have a place to send them here on the island instead of having to send them out to Prince Edward Island. So we offer referral services. We also now offer 24-7 emergency, which means for the first time in this province, there is a facility, a veterinary facility here that has a doctor, technicians, assistants in the building 24 hours a day, seven days a week to look after patients. So uh, last year after uh, our two teams that competed at Junior Nationals, one of the coaches approached me and said that uh, two parents of one of the athletes um, had acquired a sponsorship opportunity. One of his classmates plays, and Kyle. And Kyle was always trying to recruit him because he was a very good runner and a good hand-eye coordination because he was playing football. And so they finally convinced him to play. And we, I didn't know anything about it. I had all my first game, but not a thing. And then, uh, you know, and so we have a tournament this weekend. So when we went and we watched the first tournament, we were, we were impressed, right? Uh, but it wasn't until we went to the Nationals and all the different teams came into play. And just like to see Ewan, you know, participate in, in that sport, the way we feel that, you know, he should be participating. If, if you want to play a sport, if you want to, you want to have a love for it, right? You want to, you know, you want to have drive and energy, and he does. Right? It's, it's fun to watch him play because I can tell he loves playing. He was just learning, and uh, we were like, this is this is kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> we were watching. Um, it was a school tournament, so the first time we really saw him was out at um, Mount Pearl Senior High at that tournament, and then we went to see them at the Technical. Um, so that was neat to watch. And then he made the provincial team, Storm. And so we went up to Brampton to watch up there. And I think for me, that was when the lights kind of came on. And I'm like, this is, this is more than a sport. <laughs> and uh, that's what really got me interested. So uh, Baltimore is, is kind of a unique sport. And, uh, and it's cool. It's has this reputation of being accessible and being inclusive and being something that everybody should be able to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ultimate NL feels that even at the highest level of competition, that should be through, true. Uh, but of course, there are uh, financial barriers that come into play when you're talking about sending athletes to national level competitions. And our partnership with VSC has allowed us to subsidize travel for athletes that otherwise wouldn't be able to play on these teams. This is this is really special, right? Like, you just don't, I don't know. It it's, doesn't even seem like, it is a sport, I understand, but it has such a good social aspect for, you know, these children that we're trying to mold, right? Make good people, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that was what, and we left and we're like, wow, <laughs> this is really unique. <laughs>